So I have Michelle here, and we're gonna be doing a little interview about her Louis Vuitton collection, which is massive and beautiful. Before we start, I do want you to tell our viewers I guess when you got your first Louis Vuitton piece. Okay, I believe I got it in 2016 was my very first piece, if I'm not mistaken, but I've always loved <laughs> Louis Vuitton. And I, I guess I'll tell you like how I became a Louis in lover. love. Yeah, I guess how I became in love. Cause you know, some people look at these things and they're just like, oh, that's ridiculous. And I mean, to some it is, but to me, I really like it. It makes me happy and I work really, really hard um, to get a lot of the pieces that I get. So I remember being in the sixth grade. It was around the time where we had like the worst hurricane ever to hit Louisiana. Um, and I had just gotten to the sixth grade and I was like a super like punk little kid and <laughs> you know, like, like that was just my vibe. I skateboard, I was super tomboy. Like I listened to like all the like hardcore little music as a kid. And, um, I had like my, my like, uh, three really close friends. And then after Katrina hit, like I didn't have them anymore. Like some didn't come back to Louisiana and we got all misplaced to all like different schools. So it was kind of like we having to like start like myself again and try to like make new friends. And there was like really like no one like my style, <laughs> I guess. Like everybody was, you know, in sixth grade, like all the girls were like super girly and you know, it was just like a thing. And I was just like this little punk kid like by myself. And so I started like trying to be a little bit more girly cause I was super tomboy. Um, and I started getting really into uh, like looking at like the runways and like fashion inspiration, like really like change kind of like my style. And uh, I got really into um, Bazaar and getting like Bazaar subscriptions. Um, so my mom would get me like these magazines and I would create like, I was really into art. So I would like create like my own like fashion, like outfits on paper and I just, always remembered seeing like just like Louis Vuitton in like these magazines and I really loved like like the checkered print like the Damiera bean because like to me that almost was like my style like I really loved like checkered print but, you know I had like the little sweatbands of a checkered print I had like little shoes so like that was something that was very like punky to me as a kid um, and I remember just falling in love with the Speedy in Damier Bean because <laughs> it was so cool to me. Like I thought it was so like funky, but it was like high fashion. And I remember telling my mom like, mom, I want to get a Louis Vuitton bag. And my mom <laughs> like kind of like laughing and being like, that's not for us. We can't get those things. And I was like, well, like, you know, what do you mean by that? Because I never looked at the dollar Mm -hmm. of an item as a six, you know, sixth grade kid, you know, I was like 10 turning 11 and I was like, I don't know what she means, but I'm getting me one of those cool checker print bags. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And then I just, I, I became obsessed. I became obsessed. And then I remember telling her in the seventh grade, I was like, mom, I'm gonna get me one of these bags. You just wait and see. And it was a whole thing for many, many years. And then like fast forward. So that was 2006, 2007. And then I had to buy my car. It was a super late bloomer. I was very scared to drive, but I had to buy a car. So my first like retail job, I was, I knew I had to save a lot of money just so I could put down a deposit to get my first car. Um, and at the same time that I was saving for my car, I also set up a separate savings account to save up for my very first Louis Vuitton bag. So, so <laughs> funny. But I did, I worked really hard. I barely made any money at the time. It was my first retail job, so I was making pretty much minimum wage. And I saved, and whatever I saved for my car, I saved uh, for my first bag. So I was looking on this website, Fashion File, because they had designer stuff that was authentic um, at a low price, and that's where I found my very first piece. And my very first piece is my little mini accordions but I don't know what these are called now. Oh, zippy wallet. Zippy wallet. My mini zippy wallet was my very very first piece. Beautiful, honestly beautiful condition. Came with the box and the dust bag and I was really excited to get this first piece because I was like I can't believe, like I can't believe I have a piece 
Um, and I wasn't quite there yet for my handbag because, you know, over the years of me looking at these bags, they just kept going up and up and up in price. So it's like I would save, then I wouldn't have enough. And then, so I got my little wallet. Then it goes into, okay, I have enough money to buy the bag of my literal dreams, <laughs> uh, which was the Speedy in Demier Bean, except then they had the Speedy Bandelier or Bandelier. Yep. Um, and that's the one that I got. So this is my very first bag and it makes me so happy and it's so surreal and it's so exciting to know that I wanted this bag since I was 10 years old. Mm -hmm. 10 years old and I bought it in 2016. It's beautiful. Like, and I mean, it's absolutely gorgeous. It's so, it's so, I guess, like sentimental to me. Like, and I remember like, telling my mom to like she brought me to go get like like my stuff you know and i was so nervous um which they didn't have it when she brought me so then i went back and they had it but <laughs> i was so nervous because i was like i can't believe i'm doing this right now and i had saved up so much money at the time of when i bought this because i was i was really just tunnel vision focused on saving for my car that i saved up so much extra money that I wound up getting a few other pieces the same day that I bought this bag because I just saved so much money. So this was my very first bag, still my price, this is the 30, the size 30, speedy, bandolier. I keep it now on, I keep one of the straps out. I like to actually wear it as like, like a shoulder bag. Mm -hmm. I don't know, I feel like it works. It's cool. I usually have a base in it, but sometimes I've been rocking the sag, <laughs> the bag sag. Um, but in that time, I actually picked up three more items while I was there. I wanted a fourth item, but they didn't have it. And we'll get to that because I eventually got it. But then I got the little cosmetic pouch because I, I was really looking on like YouTube. So I was super influenced from YouTubers. Um, and keeping like the inside of their bags really pretty. So I know I carry like a lot of things like hand sanitizer, perfume, lip product, whatever. Um, so I keep all those little bits in there and I really wanted, of course, the Demir Bean because it's so funky to me. <laughs> Checker print and it has this beautiful red lining, which I just think is, it, I don't know, to me it adds to the, to the edge of it. I don't know, I love it. Mm -hmm. I think it's so great. I feel like it really speaks to like my personality on that note. And then the other two I got was the six ring key holder. I will literally never ever get rid of this. It's got wear on the button now, but I mean, what it's 2022 and I got it in 2016. So like, how old is that now? You know, like there's some wear there. I eventually want to get a hot stamp because I know I'll never get rid of it. I don't even use it anymore, but I'll never get rid of it. But out of all the pieces that I've ever owned for Louis Vuitton, and this is the God Honest Truth, this is my favorite. Really? Piece, yeah. Why? It ha I mean, it's just so functional. Like, I used to be like one of those people who like, even before I had a car, I had like my house keys and 20 keychains up to it. Mm -hmm. Like I had a big bulk, cause I always carried a bag that had zero pockets. So I'd be like shuffling in my bag right. to find my keys. And then I got this. I mean, this was like the most amazing thing. I knew exactly what it was. Reach right. in my bag, grab it, boom. I'd have like all my like house keys and I have my car key. And if you have the fob, like where you push to start, you don't have to worry about even taking it out of your bag to put it in to your ignition. Like amazing. And then I would put, hook this one onto this. So then this would be like my mini wallet. And then <laughs> I would wear my keys and then It'd be like this tiny little thing in my purse, but it was my keys and my wallet. It was the best duo ever. And these are called the key holder and the key pouch. Oh yeah, and the little key pouch, which I'll also never get rid of. And then my next piece, I believe is this, and I got a story to tell. <laughs> <laughs> so this collection came out, like this is when I, obviously I took like a break because you know, I got what I wanted. I like, my thirst was quenched. Like I was good at that point. Um, but I was still of course, absolutely in awe over like the fashion house and like all the things that were coming out with was just so beautiful. Um, and then they came out with this collection and I was like, oh my God, that's my favorite color. <laughs> green, green. 
Um, and then again, I just thought it was just so cool. I'm gonna show you now. But it is the, I guess, what is this? The first launch of the giant monogram? Yes, and this bag is called the Micro Pochette Accessoire. Yes. Accessoire. <laughs> it's the little like micro one. So it's really teeny, um, which I did use this one a lot for like my wallet at that point. I usually keep this tucked in there, but it's olive green or dark green with like this beige in I guess like a dark gray is kind of what it looks like to me. Mm -hmm. um, and then the, the beige tan. This, when the bag launched, so they launched a Speedy 30 and I wanted it so bad, so bad, but I didn't save for it. So I couldn't get it because like I had like a rule, if I didn't have the money put aside for that type of thing, then I, I wasn't gonna buy it. Um, and then my mom, kept like, oh, Michelle, you need this bag. Oh, Michelle, you need this bag. And I was like, mom, I don't want to dig into like my savings for this bag because I didn't save for it. Literally like a few days went by and I was like, oh my God, this piece is so cute though. Like this one, I could get this one. I have a little bit of extra money aside that I can get this one because it's so tiny. It didn't cost as much as the bag. And I hunted this bag down. No essay found this bag for me, okay? She found it herself. My essay couldn't <laughs> even find this bag. Stroman's bag didn't exist anymore. I found it. I got in touch with like the client services or whatever. I found it. They directed it, directed me to Vegas because I told them on the website there was one left in the world. And it was in Vegas and I found it. And I think the guy's name, if I'm not mistaken, his name was Casper. Oh, wow. In Vegas, because that, that rings a bell. I think his name was Casper. So if you still work at Louis Vuitton Casper in Vegas, thank you. <laughs> thank you so much. All right. Um, I want to ask you, what is your favorite? Like, do you prefer? Okay, little debate. Damier versus LV Monogram or Canvas versus Leather? Both. Both. Okay. Um, I definitely, I feel like I prefer the Damier Bean versus the LB monogram, mm -hmm. just because that was like my first in all. However, which is so sad, they don't make as many no, they don't. bags in the Demi Arbeen, and I think it's so beautiful. So that I do still love that one more. I have grown a lot more to the LV monogram, you know, now. Yeah. Um, but I, I still prefer and love the Demi Arbeen more. And then whether I'm gonna choose or love canvas over the leather. I am starting to get into the leather now and I do think the leather is beautiful. But again, I have to go back to the canvas. That's what I first fell in love with. And I think it's beautiful. I think it's so iconic to the brand and it just makes me think of being 10. I don't know, like that's why I love it so much and it's so hard for me to like move past and go to like something new because like that's what made me really fall in love with it first. It's kind of like the first thing that like got me so excited about fashion and got me excited about working hard to get to the things that I want mm -hmm. was was those canvas bags. Gotcha. And just a little fun fact, the Damier is actually the first print Louis Vuitton ever came out with himself. Louis Vuitton himself um, patented that design. And then Louis Vuitton's son came out with the LV monogram as a tribute for him after he passed. So a little bit of Louis Vuitton knowledge for you guys. And now we're gonna move on to your next piece on the timeline. So my next piece was my Speedy B25. <laughs> and I got this one. So I knew I, knew I wanted to get Speedies is like my favorite shape of a bag, right? Like, I love it. I think it's so beautiful. Um, it could be so casual, and I'm quite casual. But I knew when I got the 30 that I would eventually want to get the 25. Um, and it actually was a really strong debate on whether I was going to get the Damier Abin again. Oh. Because I loved it so much. <laughs> that was a strong debate. It really was, <laughs> because I liked the print so much. But I was like, well, I don't know, like, how many of these bags I'm going to be able to get in my lifetime. So I knew I wanted to get the other print and I did get it in the bandolier, bandolier, I don't know how to say it, version. 
just because I'm not a, like a top handle girl at all. Like I don't want to, I don't want to hold my bag. I just like it. I like it with the top handle. Yeah. I am a crossbody, long shoulder person. This one with being the 25, I do wear it as a crossbody just because I feel like that fits me better. But she's cute. Sometimes I will like wear it without the strap and I'll kind of, but I'll put the strap in the bag because I'm not being stuck all day holding it. Yeah. And this one I've actually really grown to like because the um, untreated leather starts to patina. So when you first get it, it's super, super like stock. It's so light and it's so pretty when it's so light. Mm -hmm. But I love the color that it patinas to with the LV monogram because of the lighter print. I think, I don't know, I think it looks really pretty. And I really love this one. And this size, actually I do love this size more than the 30, mm -hmm. but when I moved, my 30 to a shoulder bag, I like that one more as a shoulder bag. So now it works. Right, now but the, both options. Yeah, the size is, it's perfect though. It is perfect, such a pretty bag. <laughs> What's next? Let's see, I'm not exactly sure what's next, but I believe it was a gift. My very first gift from my best friend. And this is one of those pieces of back in 2016 that I was hunting for and they did not have it. And I don't remember what year she gifted me this. God, I think this was 2018. Mm -hmm. So like time had went by and I was on a waiting list. I was texting about it, trying to get this piece. Could not get it, could not find it, whatever. Applying services, everything, I couldn't get it. Like they were like, oh yeah, no, this is too hard to get. And then Christmas on my birthday, I don't know, I have memory loss. Um, she she surprised me with this and y'all i legitimately cried like that's so stupid but i cried because i was like oh my god you don't have to get me something like this um and then that was the start of our toxic friendship yeah <laughs> and she got me the beautiful mini pushettes in the demir bean my little checker print my little my little punk rat bag and of course you know it has the red interior, I'm currently using this as like my literal catch-all, my wallet, everything, my bag. It's amazing. Yeah. You can use it so many ways. I've literally clipped this one in my pant loop at a rock concert, just so I can go jumping around. Mm -hmm. <laughs> like, it's everything. Um, but yeah, this is my next piece. Love this, cherish it so much. This is really a great one. This is really a great piece. I honestly like recommend this bag. Yeah. I think that I see a lot of people who say like, this bag is a waste of money. The price tag is reasonable for Louis Vuitton. I think this now retails at around 745 for the canvas version. Woo! Which is reasonable, it I is, feel. It is, it is. For Louis Vuitton, a 745 price tag, it's really rare that you find anything under $1,000 yeah. that's functional for every day. Right. But you really can carry a lot in it in terms of like lip gloss, credit cards, money, money, everything. I, I mean, I have, I have a key fob in here, like everything, my keys, I put everything in here. And I've, act a lot. I've actually seen people like buy extra straps and wear it as a crossbody. <laughs> so you can get pretty innovative. Guilty. Right? I have done that with my Speedy 30 strap as a crossbody, and then Kelsey rid me the filth. She was like, bitch, take that off. And I, mean, I was like, <laughs> don't judge me. You can get pretty creative with it. Yeah. And like what Michelle said, like looping it through your belt, like making a little belt bag, like. Yeah, I mean, it's, it's just so cute. I think it's such a cute little bag. And I mean, honestly, it's so versatile and it's such a useful piece. Like, I, this is in rotation in every bag that I wear, no, literally no matter how small the bag is, if this thing fits, it's going in. It's a good starter piece too. Yeah, great starter piece along with this. You need, you need this. Don't act like you don't need something to hold your keys. <laughs> <laughs> it seems ridiculous, but it's worth it. Then my next piece, this was another one that I was on a mission for. And you're all gonna be jealous because this piece is discontinued. <laughs> okay, this piece makes me so happy. I was on a waiting list for this bag. And I wanted this so bad. I thought it was so cool. It gave me like straight up safari vibes. I was like, I want to look so rad going hiking, even though I'll never wear this hiking. But like this bag is so cool. And I reached out to my essay 
And I was like, hey, like if you, seriously, if you get one of these in, I don't, I don't care if it's a Monday. I don't care if it's 9 a.m. in the morning, text me. Like I want it and I saved my money to eventually get this bag. And then finally, I remember being at work and I got a text message from her after literally not hearing from this woman for like five months. I got a text message and she was like, we got one in. I have it on hold if you want it. I need to know now. And I was like, I want it. I am on my way. I literally left work, y'all. <laughs> I was like, <laughs> I don't feel good. No, just kidding. I was like, oh my God, because they knew what was up. I was like, um, can I please leave early today? I have to go run to the city. So they let me go and I got my bag and I was so stoked. And it is the beautiful monogram bum bag. Ah, this bag makes me so happy. I think it's so cute. She's also patinaed so nice. Like she's got watermarks on it, but you know, it rains like every freaking day. So I don't care. I'm still gonna wear my bag. Um, I love the big zipper. I wish this wasn't discontinued. This is a perfect bag. This is the perfect bag. Like seriously, this replaced my Speedy Bees. And like, that's a no joke. Like I used to grab those all the time and now I grab this. This is the epitome of my personality. This is me in a bag. This is, let's go. Yeah, it's let's go. Like, look at look at this cool ass bag. It goes with anything. I'm literally wearing camo. Safari. Like, I'm going, I'm hacking. Yeah. This is such a great bag. Such a great size. I love that I don't even have to, like, take it off. I can just unzip it, get what I need, pull a po' boy out. I'm good. A po' boy. <laughs> <laughs> like, this is an amazing bag. I'm so glad that I have this in my collection. And I really wish they would come out with this one in an on front leather in this size because they don't have the on front in this size. They have a little baby one. This is the size. And it's so squishy. Oh like, my God, that's so cringe that I'm doing that. Right I know, now. everyone hates it, but like it's, this canvas is so soft on this bag. It's like so strong, but it's so soft. This is a great bag. I love it. So I guess my next one. Everybody's gonna be in the comments like, oh my God, you got the bag. It's amazing. So my next, pieces because I got these two together um was whenever we went birthday shopping um for my best friend Kelsey we went out for her birthday she was getting her very first Louis Vuitton piece because she's like not really into that um but she was getting her very first Louis Vuitton piece and I had saved some money because I was like well Beth is getting a Louis I gotta get a Louis just kidding. But I was like, I'm probably gonna want something while I'm there. <laughs> and so yeah, I had saved up some money and I didn't really know, like, I was like, you know what? I'll, I'll let something jump out at me because I had not really had my eye on anything in particular at the time. Yeah, I hadn't really had my eye on anything in particular. So I was like, I had saved money because I was like, well, if I see something I like, I'll get it. If I don't, then I'm up a couple grunting. And I tried on a few bags there and nothing like spoke to me until I tried on this bag and I was like, why is this so nice? I would have never like looked at this bag for myself. Mm -hmm. And it was like the little bag was like, hey, me, come try me on. I think you're gonna <laughs> like me. And I tried it and I was like, this is the one. And it is the new, it's kind of dark. The new favorite. The new favorite. The new favorite. Like, I'm sorry, what? It's in the mon the Omprant Giant Monogram Leather. Look at this beautiful, girl, she still got the sticker. I don't need a room for that. <laughs> Look at this lovely chain. I'm sorry, but this is so badass. Like some people look at this bag and they're like, no, the shape. And I'm just like, it's giving me like luxury burrito realness. <laughs> luxury burrito, <laughs> you heard it here first. <laughs> luxury burrito realness, this chain just screams to me. I feel like this can be such a, like an edgy bag or it can be such a chic bag. Mm -hmm. Like I've, I wear this when I've went to a wedding, like I've dressed it up, I've dressed it down. It comes with the most amazing bag strap literally ever. This is the first time I've ever seen like a freaking snap strap. Stop. So it's crossbody. You snap it. You pull it. It's a freaking shoulder bag, and I'm gonna show you because it is really cute. I was some. I always keep the strap in the bag, even if I'm just rocking it 
as like a shoulder bag with the chain. I still bring the strap because I don't like to put my bags down anywhere. So I always keep the strap. That way I can wear it as a crossbody if I need to be more hands-free. I don't know if I hooked that right, but you can wear it with the chain. The chain is removable. Um, yeah, you can wear it like that. You can wear it crossbody. I think this bag is gorgeous. I love it. Literally love this bag. It's definitely worked its way up to a favorite. And this was your first leather piece? Yeah, though. this is my first leather piece. So this is my intro to the Louis Vuitton leather. And that's why I'm like, I never thought that this, I would ever get this because this never, I've never looked at their leather bags and be like, oh my God, I love that. Yeah. Like it wasn't, and no one showed me this bag. I was on my way out when I seen this bag. Like we were checking out and she got her stuff. And then I was like, oh, what is that? I'm like the third shelf at the top. <laughs> yeah, it was so funny. And then when I got this, I was like, oh, well, I should get a six ring key holder to match. So I wound up getting, and this is the one that I'm currently using, um, my big stupid key fob, <laughs> but it's the embossed monogram leather. It's so beautiful. It's so soft, literally the best piece ever. This fob is real stupid and big. So my other ones used to fit in there perfectly. This is a great piece. I love it. I think it's beautiful. So I think what's next in between is going to be um, this. Okay. So this was before the leather bag. I failed because I forgot it was on the floor, but this was a piece that I bought, which was so funny because it was, um, it was an exchange. I had bought another pair and they just didn't feel right on my feet. And it was something that I had been wanting. It was a pair of shoes. Um, I never had a pair of shoes from there before, but I was like, oh my gosh, I want a pair of shoes from there. So I went in to exchange for a different size. Um, and then I seen these. And they're beautiful. Ah! And they're so me. And they are the denim LV print. They're so dirty, y'all. I've worn these literally so much i don't even know she doesn't even untie them at this point i don't i slip them on slips i literally there. slip my foot in there like look how amazing they look like converse but they're literally denim and i'm obsessed with denim so like one thing you would need to know about me i collect denim jackets like denim pieces that's my thing so this is so my style like i would legit wear it with this like i don't even care like they're so cute. So this is my very first pair of shoes. So comfortable, highly recommend. Mm -hmm. My next piece is so exciting. <laughs> oh my God, so exciting. So I'm gonna hide this one behind me, which you've probably seen in the background, but you haven't gonna see it up close yet. <laughs> so because- What's the story? Okay. So I have a few friends uh, that work at the LV near me. And I'm like, okay, y'all are in. If Louis Vuitton, because I had these sneakers now. I had these sneakers. I'm like, if Louis Vuitton ever drops a freaking denim bag, specifically a Speedy, you better let me know. You better let me know. And lo and behold, they dropped a freaking denim Speedy. And this was a mission, y'all. This was a, a full throttle mission. <clears throat> and they came through and they got it for me. <laughs> Boom, faded center, solid blue denim on the back. Like, tell me this is not scrumptious. It's beautiful. It's literally beautiful. And I hate the color blue. Sorry for everyone who loves the color blue, but if you're not blue denim, I don't love you. Like, look at this. Like, tell me this bag is not so cool. This bag is so cool. This just makes me think of my childhood rocking them wide leg mud jeans <laughs> with my little black platform sandals. Like, what? This is so cute. I'm so obsessed. I think this is the coolest bag. It has the long crossbody strap, and this is the size 25. Oh, it's so cool. I can't believe I even <laughs> have this. Like, every time I look at this bag, I'm just like, I'm in awe. I can't believe that I have this bag. This bag was so hard to get. And this is a collector's piece. Yes. Yes, this is a collector's piece. This was one of those bags that I didn't save for, and I do not regret buying at all. I just worked my ass off. I just worked my butt off really hard after to make this money back up. Didn't have it set aside. 
my bills was taken care of, I got her. And I'm so happy and I love her so much. She's so pretty. I love this bag. I knew I wanted this bag. I've never seen this bag in person. This bag was just in the, the peak, the hype, the moment of it all. You could not get this freaking bag. And I could not see it in person. And my friend worked in the mall near Louie. Um, and she had decided to go in on her lunch break, I think, my best friend. And she called me and she was like, this freaking bag is in store. I'm staring at it right now. And I was like, no, you're not. And she FaceTime called me and I was like, oh my God. And she was like, <laughs> send me your card info if you want it. I'm gonna get it for it because they can't hold it. And I was like, okay. So I sent her my card info. She plugged in her phone as Apple Pay and she got me the freaking reverse monogram. Reverse monogram on the go GM. On the go GM giant monogram. This bag is so big. It's huge. This bag is so big, y'all. I don't even know what to do with this bag. Honestly, though, it's, I think it's beautiful. <laughs> this is probably my least favorite bag because it's so big on me, not anything to do with this bag. I don't wear shoulder bags a lot, totes, anything like that. Um, so that's why it's not like my most favorite bag. It is beautiful. I'm absolutely in love with this reverse monogram. Like Louis Vuitton, you need to do more because this is so pretty. Like, this is a big bag. Like, I need like a Pomeranian. It's to like put half here. the size of Michelle, pretty much. Literally, like I could, I could fit in this bag. <laughs> <laughs> I think it's beautiful. Um, it's just really big for me, but I do love it. And this was also one of those bags that I was just like, oh my God, get it, I need it. Before even seeing it in person, I love that it has the small or original monogram and then it has the giant monogram. And I also have like, cause I said I got it during the time of the hype. So I still have the monogram straps. I know they relaunched it with like leather straps. Mm -hmm. Yeah, which is so crazy. Oh, and then I got it the day before the price increase. I got it the day before the price increase. This bag went up, y'all, like $600. Yep. So I bought it and then the next day it was like $600 more. And I was like, ooh, <laughs> crazy. So yeah, this is my, and is my biggest bag so far. That's a handbag. And then I got that Twilly at some point in there. Oh, and then I had this one. This was also a gift from my best friend. And it's so effing cute because it's literally animal print. Stop. 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 Look how cute it is. Is that not so cute? Like tied on this bag. I'm like, I'm someone's cute little grandma. All right. <laughs> so this is the Keep All 55. This is a 55. Yeah, Keep All 55 with the black leather instead of the Vachetta, which yes. And then it has the silver hardware which i love they don't do a lot of silver no and i love the silver and i am a gold hardware person but this one has the silver and i absolutely love the way that it looks it has the long strap this thing is massive um this it's one of the like travel bags have you used this piece yet i actually have not used it yet <laughs> i have not used it yet kelsey got me this either my christmas christmas or my birthday I really can't remember. I haven't used it yet, so sad, but I mean, I haven't been anywhere right. like, to use it. I haven't traveled, but when I do, your girl won't be traveling in style. <laughs> I'm kind of scared to travel with it, but it's pretty. It's so beautiful. And then she had also got me the little key ring, um, which is so cute because at the time of when she got this, I had I had to get a new car because this was literally right after a freaking hurricane. And she got me this because I no longer had a car with a key fob. I had like the regular key. And she was like, well, you can put your key on this instead of having to always take it off of your um, six turn key holder. So she got me the cute little keychain. This is crazy. I, can't, I still can't believe she freaking bought me this. This is insane. I wouldn't even buy this for myself. <laughs> and she bought it for me. Okay, and then some of my last pieces are gonna be these boots. 
So my first ever pair of boots um, from Louie. I do want to get another pair, but I think these are so freaking cool. They are funky. Yes, this is giving me like 80s hairband. <laughs> like I'm going out on the town with these little low ride cruisers. I think they're so cool. I love this like little buckle with the monogram. And I like that they're a black boot and you just have like a touch. I think these are so cute. I haven't worn them yet because it's pissing hot down here. Um, but when winter comes, I will wear these. And then my next one is this one. <laughs> and this little bag is so funny. And honestly, the story makes me sick of myself, but whatever. Um, I went in to actually go get a gift for someone else. <laughs> a cologne. Like, that was it. A cologne. Um, and... One of the guys that worked there had pulled this out because they had just got it in. And this is a bag that I wanted, was no longer in my radar. Like I just, I wanted it and then I forgot about it and I got other stuff, you know, over the years. But I never seen this bag in the store ever. Mm -hmm. Like, and when he pulled it out, I was like, is that the Alma BB in monogram? And he was like, why yes it is <laughs> and i was like wow i want it and then i remember my essay being like huh what you want that you just he was coming in for a cologne and i was like don't ask questions just i want it i just want it and then i looked behind him and i was like oh i like that bag charm and at that it was downhill from there it was downhill from there so then i got the cute ass little monogram alma bb she's still in her patina process so i'm very careful with her so i don't get her stained because this bag is so cute like this is the bag i see myself when i'm like 70 years old when i walk up and i'm just like i'm cute <laughs> <laughs> like i think this bag is so effing cute and then yeah then i got this because it's animal print and who who doesn't love animal print so it's the little cheetah print lv or it's kind of like a cartoon that's what it reminds me of like a little cartoon I think this is so cute. It's beautiful. I love it. And it has the crossbody strap. Of course. Because I'm not holding this all day. But I love it. I've only worn it like once or twice. Because I am. Like it rains too much. And she's too new. I don't want to get it destroyed. Because this one has way too much with Shetta. Yeah. Like if I stain this bottom. It's done. It's done. Like I will be so effing upset. So we keep her looking beautiful for now. And my second to last piece is my newest bag. And this bag is absolutely adorable. And this is another gift from my best friend. And she bought this for my birthday. It was an early birthday present because, you know, you gotta get certain things when they launch at Louie or you miss them. And it is the Speedy 20. 20. 20. The speedy 20. Look, look at this little baby. You can't really see it on camera, but it's like a true, like, sage green. Yeah. Like, like an olivey sage green. It looks kind of like brown, brown on camera, but it's really a true green. Yeah. Which is amazing and my favorite color. And hello. This bag is so adorable. Like, that's what it is. It's adorable. It's so little. It's adorable. It has this massive luggage tag. Yeah, luggage <laughs> tag on it, which is so funny, but it's so cute. And it has the, um, like, ivory colored crossbody strap, which I love. If I'm not wearing the strap, I still keep it in my bag so I don't have to keep it on me. Um, and then it has a really, it has a different interior. I don't know what material this is, like a freaking micro suede or something. It's actually microfiber. Oh, okay, it's a microfiber. It's so soft and it's so pretty. Um, but yeah, I love this bag. I think the colors are so cute. Perfect for summer, like if you wanna be a little bit more like airy, like I like to wear earth tones a lot. So like this one looks so pretty when I'm wearing my, like, my super like flowy clothes. I really like this one. But then it would look really good as a transition to winter because oh, yeah. it's still an earth tone. Yeah. It's just a perfect bag. It, <laughs> it was such a good buy. Definitely. I, I love, I love that she got this for me. Like amazing. It's so, beautiful. so beautiful. I love her. My newest piece, and it is my first pair of LV sandals. And they are just so cool. It's so hard to see, 
but they have like this really big like chunky chain that has like the actual logos on it and they're it's like a puffy puffy leather um kind of a little bit of a platform which i need because i'm short um but yeah i got these whenever we went again shopping for uh kelsey's birthday because that's when she got her second and third louis vuitton piece and then i i just got these in a perfume yeah yeah so i love these these are so cute definitely so my style um a little bit of edge a little bit of glam a little relaxed a little mama swag mama. she's cute yeah i like these and they're they're surprisingly really comfortable they actually have like a a little like higher arch or high end stuff part here so it works for me because i'm not like super flat footed so these are really comfortable i really like them now i noticed that the only thing you don't have in your collection is Damier Azur. Yeah. Why is that? So, and Damier Azur is actually the white checkerboard with the navy. Mm -hmm. So, I've always wanted to get a piece just so I have it. But you don't really like it. I don't really like it. I feel like it's a little too feminine, bright, light. I don't know. I, I just don't think it would match anything that I wear. Mm -hmm. um, and I wear a lot of light colors. Like sometimes I'll be in like all beige, all ivory. And I just, I just don't think that it would work for my personal style. Um, I think it's pretty on other people. Mm -hmm. um, it's just, it's a little too light for me. I do still eventually want to get something um, just as like a, now I'm like a collector, um, just as like a collector's mind, I want to get something, but I won't just buy it just to have it. Like I really, I have to like it. So yeah, that's why I don't have one. Okay. Now you have such an extensive collection. Would you ever consider selling any pieces to make room for more pieces? So the only piece that I would sell would be this big baby, <laughs> this big mama jamma. I would sell it because I, I sadly have only worn this bag like four times or five times. Um, and it's just, it's every time I wear it, it's like a hassle, it's like a chore, right. which is so sad. So many people love this bag. It's just, it's way too big for me. So it bothers me. Um, but I would, I would sell that one. I would sell that one to make room for something that would work much better for my lifestyle. And like, I really wanted a tote, but I just, I don't love a tote. Maybe when I'm like a mama or something. Yeah. That'll work for me. It's just not now. And where do you, what do you see for your collection? Like in the future, what do you want for your collection? Are you looking for more just exclusive pieces? Or are you looking just like for essential pieces in the Louis Vuitton collection? There are some pieces in, in both categories that I would like to add eventually. Um, I really, now that I have such an extensive collection and I love all of my pieces um, that are like more basic pieces, um, I would like to add more like exclusive pieces, more fun, intricate pieces um, in like different collections. I would like to add like a fun color, kind of like how I have like this little bag. I would like to add like an actual handbag because like even though this one is a fun color it's still neutral to me mm -hmm. so i want to add like something really fun that's in one of those like cool collections and then i also really want to add a like a bright pop of a solid leather that's like something that i'll be on the hunt for whether it's green of course or red um i'm not really a red person but sometimes a yeah. red leather bag just looks so good so i would like something like that and something else that I would like to add. There's always something else. But I definitely would like to get um, like a cold weather piece from Louis. So whether it's a jacket or a coat. Mm -hmm. um, but that, that has to be very specific. Um, like I don't want the monogram all over it just because I don't wanna, I don't know, it's a little too much. But there's, some of them are beautiful, but I feel like I'd be, my bag is already enough. <laughs> like, I, I feel like I wouldn't be able to wear my bags with, with my coat if I had the monogram jacket. Right. Now, if I was boiling, shot calling, 20 inch beads on the Impala, I would. <laughs> but I'm not. <laughs> I gotta save my coins to get this. <clears throat> okay. What is your Louis Vuitton dream bag? Mm, my goodness. 
honestly, like, the, I mean, this was really like getting a dream bag of mine. Okay. Was getting a denim one. But, I mean, I always hope that I, I would get myself to the point where I can get a capuzine. A what? A capuzine. Oh, <laughs> that, would, that would be like a, a wow, I did that. I did that, I got a capuzine. Like, I worked my, my tushy off real hard to get that. Um, that would be like a, that's like a goal. But I will say my dream was getting a denim. Mm -hmm. like Louis Vuitton bag like I'm so easy to please at this point even though this bitch was so hard to get and it was so stressful but like because this is this is just so me so my personality right um and my style so this was a dream I got a dream come true bag because if y'all if y'all know Louis Vuitton and their original denim collection nothing was quite as fire as that collection yeah. like I'm sorry and <laughs> that's where this originated from i thought they were gonna give us a bag that looked like like this like this looks so much like the original denim collection with that beautiful mustard suede interior but we didn't get that bag so <laughs> and do you have any advice to our viewers who are trying to secure their dream bags or trying to get limited edition pieces really hard to get pieces uh yeah i mean first of all first and foremost if if you want a bag like this, just put your mind to it, save up for it. You know, a bag is never worth it if you deplete in your savings to get it. So save up for something that you want, um, make your little like smart decision there. And then if you want like a hard to get piece, just either hound, hound them, okay? Keep messaging them, let your essays know, get an essay, go in the store if you don't have one now, meet somebody, build a good connection with them, you know, like as a client advisor myself in a different company, like we, we like that. Like, I want you to talk to me and tell me what you like and I would, I'd love to find you something that you would love. Um, so talk to them, get you an essay, tell them what it is you're looking for. I mean, it could be five months later and they find you something. But if there's something that you really want, like this denim bag, like I knew about this denim bag months before my essay even told me about it. And I was like, if y'all launch a denim bag, you let me know, like I want it. And then when it got closer and closer, I just kept, I was like, look, you better make this bag happen <laughs> for me, please. Like, I know I don't spend that much money and y'all be giving them to all the expensive people. I want this bag. And yeah, so I guess that's my tip of advice. Find out what you want. Look on the internet, YouTube, Instagram, whatever. I found that one out from Instagram and YouTube. And, you know, look at the runway. Look at the, the fashion shows. I look at that too and that kind of gives me a little sneak peek of what's coming out and you know, what I like or what what I could possibly expect. And yeah, and then I just reach out to my essay and be like, hey, if this ever comes out, like, please keep me in mind. Like, I'm already saving for it. So like, I will have it when it's there. So, yeah. All right. Well, if Michelle has a channel by the time this video comes <laughs> out, I will be linking it down below for you guys to check out. Other than that, thank you, Michelle, for thank coming you. onto the channel. Yeah, this, this was fun. so much fun. And I think that the viewers are really going to love this. This is very informative. Yeah. And come back whenever you want. I will. Maybe you'll see Michelle when she has a new piece. Who knows? Right? <laughs> <laughs> but um, thank you for watching. Thank you. Like comment, subscribe, tell us which of Michelle's pieces are your favorite. Um, I was going to ask Michelle, but how could she possibly pick? She loves them all. Yeah, I um, can't pick. But That's let hard. us know what your favorite piece was from Michelle's little haul. And yeah, we'll see you on the next video, the next vlog. Bye. Bye. <laughs> Happy back shopping. <laughs>